hello, welcome back to, well, the final episode of our playthrough for They Are Billions. Uh, you may not, you may notice, no webcam. I have the sniffles, a cold, whatever you want to say. No one wants to see that, and I apologize for all the sniffling. Um, in addition, this is a remake of my final thoughts. I felt that the original version, A, apparently the audio was dropping out constantly, and B, tend to babble, so I retread the same thing over and over again. So, uh, I've organized my thoughts, and we're gonna go with that. Um, at this point, I have put in 26 hours of the campaign. I feel 20 hours on any game is enough to judge it, or at least give your thoughts on whether you'll keep playing it, and that sort of thing. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not playing this anymore. It's 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 not a bad game. It's not a good game. It's a mech game. Um, the good, it is an interesting concept. I like the idea of a of a of a survival tower defense. The game originally released as a survival mode where you would build up resources and just survive zombie waves and it works great that way. For the story mode, the aesthetic works. I like how it cartoony it is and that sort of thing. It feels well done. Uh, it is relatively cheap. It is only a $30 full price, which means if you want to wait for it to go on sale, very easily you could wait for it to be $15, $20, $25, whatever you feel like you would want to pay. Um, the story is interesting. Uh, very generic, but told in an interesting way. I like that. Um, and I like the, the tech tree. I like the concept of the tech tree. I like being able to pick the techs. Uh, I like the hero maps. I like being able to pick hero abilities. That is cool. So overall, you know, I always say if you can get a dollar an hour out of the game, it's pretty much worth it at that point. It's just up to you whether it is a game that interests you. Uh, now, the bad. Uh, it feels like single player... It's just tacked on to survival mode. Um, sorry, test text I had to respond to. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, the single player feels tacked on. Like I said, works great as a survival game. Single player, not so much. And a lot of that comes down to qu uh, quality of life decisions. Um, I like the idea that there are different maps. Like I said, you've got um, basic RTS maps, like I said, which is the survival mode. You've got swarm maps, which I don't think there are any on the screen right now. But there, basically, you have a limited number of resources. Whatever units you get, you get. Survive the swarm. As opposed to, you have the time to build up and that sort of thing. To create a town or a village or that sort of thing. And then there are hero maps, where just like they sound, you take a hero. Uh, if you've ever played StarCraft, it's one of those. You go through as the hero, you do some things... Uh, you get some tech, that sort of thing. However, um, it is an awkward save system. You can only save one game to the file. So that is it. If you're mid-map, there's no way to do multiple saves. So you can do, all right, well, I think I'm ready. Let me save here as, we'll say, try one. Let me play for a... a you know, a little longer and see if I survive. Oh, I feel. Let me back up to try one and try this. Or, hey, I did it. I'll keep going. Or, all right, I've got a little better. Let me make these quick changes. I'll save that as try two and keep going while in a map. Um, you can't do that. There's no speed up on map. So 
very often, especially once you get to later maps, you'll sit there and it's like, all right, I have to wait till day 70, we'll say day 60, but I've met all the requirements by day 40. So that means I have to sit here for 20 days of game time and just let stuff happen. Um, the maps just feel, like I said, if you play survival mode, Great, an hour or two, you're done. For a story campaign, not so much. This is the first map you play, the Hidden Valley, 20, 30 minutes, you're done. The next ones are about an hour, and then after that, you're stretching two to three hours per map. So let's do the map. If I'm 30% done, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maps done, Let's see, that means we'll say 24 maps total, not counting hero maps. And I've done 7 of them, so 14 at 3. Well, that's 34, that's 50 hours. And a lot of that's wasted time, because like I said, you're just sitting around waiting for stuff to happen. So, shorter maps, maybe are better mix, like for every 2 or 3 of these have a hero map and a swarm map something like that would have been nice also finally in the bad column the tech tree as you can see there's a lot i haven't taken because tech is very very limited you only have x amount of points and there is a lot of tech and you don't get a lot of extra tech to pick up extra stuff. Which means you can waste points, which makes the game harder than it needs to be. For example, I took bearings and pulleys and hunting weapons. Except I'm at the point in the game where that's wasted. I didn't need those. I no longer need those and I have no way to undo this. Right? It also means if you sit here and think, alright, I have exactly enough, I will earn exactly enough tech in this game to get, I think there's like 40 or 50 techs, but you only get half of them, which it feels like is the way it's balanced, then you can sit down and go, alright, well, what techs do I absolutely need? Assault rifle, yes. These two are wasted. Um, there's wood, right? Wood defenses and all that stuff tied to it. But there's also concrete. So get the bare minimum of the high-rise defenses and logistics in this because you need it. And then skip everything else. So it feels like there's a lot of wasted text. What would have been nice or some way to fix... Like, a lot of this is just, like, you know, improve the save system. You know, add a speed up to the maps. Um, make the maps a little shorter. Give it a better mix. Those are just design changes that... Too late, nothing can do. But the tech tree, like I said, they're very good... That are have, have been very good at pumping out, even to now... Um, patches at a decent interval. What they need to do is add away every three maps that you play. You can reset the tech tree. You know... You get one free reset every three or four maps. You know, all right, like, and you can see there's like, all right, well, I've got all this, but I'm struggling with this map that I need to go to continue the story. And these feel wasted, so let me use one of my resets. Boom. All right, I'll grab this, and now I'm into chemistry, a concrete. And all of a sudden, hey, the difficulty feels at a reasonable level. You know, or every four tries, or something like that. You know, just, and the same thing for the ability tree. Or make it an option in the options menu, where I've turned on the option, click, to reset the tech tree and ability trees at any time, but it has lowered the overall difficulty of the game by, I don't know, 20%. And therefore, I'm not earning as much score. Something along those lines. Other than that, very well done. Um, something to keep in mind is these are under the meh category. 
where it is only i think it's only made by one maybe a small team one person maybe a small team of three or four so what they have done is impressive but and they do have the option to do this now go in make any changes you can make to improve the quality of life they need to do like i said they maybe they can change the save system i don't know they maybe they can add a speed up in in during the maps so if you hit a point where you're like all right i'm just waiting for days and days of game time let me speed things up to get to the end they can do that i don't know if they can change the length of maps or change the actual this map i don't know if they can change this at all so fine and they need to add if at all possible a reset to the tech tree all right because like i said this is this is horribly uh, uh, like it's cool that all this tech is here but if i'm only you know if there's 50 tech options and i'm only ever gonna earn enough in game to get you know half of these then that means i have to sit down and figure out which ones are wasted and which ones to never ever pick because they're useless you know, it would be, like, you can replay maps, but there's no point to it. You get more score, so you do that by changing the difficulty down here in the lower left. See, that's great, but it changed, that's it. It only affects the total victory points. You can't replay things to get more tech. So, you know, I'm already at 50. I can only go down one more, and I don't think the change is going to be that much. So, you know, those are changes they could make. Uh, like I said, I enjoyed it to a point, and then it just became so slog. It's a slog. Like, it was great here, and then now it's like, all right, well, this is the exact same thing. I've played eight maps, one, two, three, four, five, seven maps before. It's gonna take me two to three hours to do. I just don't wanna play. That sort of thing. It really does work best as a survival mode. So, uh, uh, the, uh, was it TLDR? Too long, didn't read. Good, interesting concepts. Heroes, the hero maps, war maps, and RTS maps. It's a good aesthetic. It's a reasonable price. Only $30 at full price, so feel free to wait until it goes cheaper. It's an interesting story. Not necessarily unique, just told in an interesting way. And I like the tech tree and ability trees. The bad... Is like I said, it really does feel like the single player is just tacked onto survival mode. There are many quality of life things that can be improved, like an awkward save system, uh, speed up in maps, uh, shorter maps, a better mix of maps, a better balanced tech tree that gets resets and doesn't have any wasted techs, and the meh category, you know... Yeah, you know, things are just like, they're, they're kind of nitpicky, so it's, you know, and you gotta take like... Taking no account, it's made by one person. It's still impressive. And even a small team, it's impressive for what they've done. Overall, you know, I'm not going to recommend you buy it or play it. If it looks interesting to you, go ahead. Pick it up. Play it. If you can't, don't feel like you need to, you should pay full price. The $30 that it is on Steam, wait until it goes on sale. Pick it up then. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's, it's an okay game. All right. Thank you very much for watching. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, or comment. Or come on over and check me out on Twitch, I stream live, or Mixer now at twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk or mixer.com backslash sparkytdk. And I stream every Wednesday through Saturday starting at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.